Bell. So what's holding out is Mutooth Finance, one of the top gainers in the small cap space, which is posting good gains of about 8.5%. It's Eros International Media as well that's gaining about 6.5%. Sri Renuka also doing very well, 4.5% of an uptick. BEML also doing pretty well. But to connect with the management of Religair, the company posted their numbers. Sunil Gudwani, Chairman and MD, joins us on the show. Great to have you with us. Now, your board have proposed reorganization of lending, health insurance and capital markets biz in three separate listed entities. What's the rationale for this? If you look at us a year back, Religair Enterprises basically had four large businesses. The asset management space, the lending, the health insurance and the capital markets. Over the last year or so, we, we sort of re-strategized and due to a lot of investor feedback, we got an impression that the fee, that people were more wanting us to be India-focused and we took a strategic call to refocus all our energies in India and took a call to divest from our international business of asset management. We have completed that process and today Religare is large, three large businesses under it, the lending, the health insurance and the uh, capital markets. Clearly, what we do with this demerger is we unlock value, simplify structure and create a platform for each business to get its own partners and ability to raise capital. You know, you'll appreciate that a holding company model, while uh, it has been successful historically, does, come, does get a 30 to 50 percent discount in valuations. We clearly felt now it was the right time for the company this next phase of journey by simplifying the structure by demerging the entities hence each entity would now be capable to attract his own set of investors so you know in initially when an investor would come to Relic and enterprises he would get saddled if he was interested in one company he would get saddled with some other business that he was not interested in at this point he clearly has a choice or the uh, uh, the firm has a choice to partner with the kind of industry or the financial services they are interested in. By when will the process be completed uh, then going forward and regulatory approvals uh, in place? Uh, well, in this, in this board meeting, we presented the entire uh, proposal to the, you know, to the entire board and uh, the committee has been appointed to look into all the necessities and regulatory approval that are required to go ahead. The process would take around 12 to 14 months. Uh, it requires, uh, uh, whole, you know, the entire, you know, from SEBI to IRDA to RBI, we would need uh, regulatory buy-ins from everybody. But I don't think that's a challenge going ahead. If then at certain point the bankers will put together a full plan and which we will file in a schema arrangement with the high courts and that approval normally takes three to five months. So safely in a period of 12 to 14 months we should be, uh, you know, the entity should be listed. That is around about approximate period it would take. Now will there be any changes at the board level if at all? Uh, not right now. Everything remains uh, as status quo as it is. As we go along with the entities get emerged, of course, we will look at opportunities to see how we engage the board into a more meaningful manner to further govern the three entities to take them to the next level of growth. What about your capital position right now? Would any of your listed entities need capital? If so, will you arrange for that? And is there a case of a strategic investor coming into any of your businesses? See, at this point, all of our businesses are very, uh, you know, are, are capitalized to the capacity. There is no dearth of capital in our business as of today. However, as we demerge, what is becoming obvious is that because of the simplification of structure, we will each business, the lending business can kind of invest the investor that are interested to come in NBFC, the capital can interest its, the capital markets can interest its own set of investors, and the health insurance has a separate set of investors. So very honestly, uh, at this point, we are well capitalized. However, we leave the options open to partner with new investors for growth capital as and when required. Okay, now in the health insurance business, Union Bank and Corporation Bank are the other partners. Do you have any plans for another strategic investor in this business? If any of the banks plan to exit? Uh, to the best of our knowledge, no, no bank is planning to exit. Um, as I said earlier, we re really don't require any capital in that business. However, insurance is an exciting field. We are growing. We are the number one health insurer in a growth strategy in the country today. 
uh, we remain keep our options open. If there is an attractive valuation, a partner that can provide us the right kind of domain knowledge and help us to grow further and better, we remain open to those options. But honestly, at this point, we are not uh, you know, out there hunting for a partner. What's your overall growth strategy over the course of the next one or two years in all your three businesses, lending, insurance uh, and capital markets? Clearly, with the demerger of Relica into three listed entities, what is emerging is an India story focused company. We are in the SME focus side, on the lending side, on the SME focus business, under that affordable housing. So, this is a clear India story on that. We believe there's a huge ability within us and a huge opportunity within the country to tap this market. The health insurance sector is underserved. It's again an agenda for the India story and we are penetrating and we are growing there very aggressively. The capital market business is a business which is cyclical but we have moved to a platform where we made it asset light and in a manner it's, it's sort of resilient to any market's vol uh, volatility or up and downs at this point. Uh, clearly it's with this reach of 500 offices, 500 cities and close to 800 locations, it's a, it's a business which has a strong B2B and a B2C distribution ability. So very honestly, all three businesses put together and working as different listed entities will still collaborate and cross leverage their ab inherent abilities to focus on the growth on India story. Okay, thank you very much Mr. Godwani for taking the time out and uh, chatting with us, sharing your business outlook with us on uh, Traders 20. That's the management of uh, Religare and the stock is at the day's low as we speak. But let's continue getting those trading recommendations to you now from Mandar Jamsin Dekar as well as Sarvendra Shivastav. Good morning to both of you. Mandar, first to you. And if you can tell us which stocks are you betting on. Yeah, good morning, Kamya. Uh, the first stock that I have is Coal India. Uh, for the last two months, the stock has been consolidating in a narrow range. 